Hi there, I'm Jessica. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a very highly requested video, so I'm really excited to share with you guys my sticker storage and sticker organization. As you probably know, planning is my hobby, and I have been planner decorating for a few years. So just like any other hobby I enjoy collecting, this is where I am currently at with my sticker collection. Um, I have been using the same systems for a while. Um, this one over here is fairly new, and I would like to share all of them with you. You may have seen these systems in other videos if you've watched any other organization videos. But anyways, I'm going to move everything to the side and start with my oldest and most used system, and that is my box or the tab section system. Let's get started. Okay, so before I actually started out with a large amount of stickers, I used an accordion file system and that had tabs as well. So I could organize all my icons into the sections I like to use. Once I accumulated some more, I went and picked up a box from my local craft store. This one is from Michael's. I believe it's like an eight and a half by eight and a half. It had a little flap over the top, which was really cute. It was magnetic, but I removed it because I went and picked up some tabs and my box was unable to close. Plus, I actually like having it open. This is on display. It's easy for me to get into all the time. So I'm actually going to hold it up, I guess, like this so you could see it a little bit better. I'm not going to go sticker by sticker, but I want you to see my sections. Oh, also, I guess I'll explain my little tabs here. What I did is I went to the local um, office supply store and I just picked up these manila folder dividers. They actually were alphabetical and then I took some washi to make them all look presentable. Like I said, this is out in the open, so I have some glitter washi and then I just took some pretty Tiffany blue or mint mint blue washi to go around the edges there. And I personally do not like my handwriting, especially as a planner girl. So I found these labels on a site that is called Blush and Chai. It's a two sheet sticker storage little labels system here. And I just picked the best that fit. And then there were a few uh, extras. I did have to write out three sections myself, which it's okay. No big deal. And so I will link this shop down below in case you are looking for similar tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of zoom you in a little bit closer and go by each section here. So the very first one says build do. That's pretty self-explanatory. Anything that's going to be bill related or labels that say build do is in that section. Next is housework. So anything like mom life or chores like vacuum, icons, little cleaning girls go in there. Next I have coffee and tea, which that was just the best I could come up with. Yes, there are actually a lot of coffee stickers in there, but I'm also using it to mark days. If you've seen any of my plan with me's, I like to mark Monday for Hello Monday to start a fresh week. And I like to mark Fridays because I love when my husband comes home early on Fridays and we like to start our weekend. So I have kind of a mix in here from coffee cups to things that say TGIF and Fry Yay. And even coffee cups that say Hello Monday. <laughs> Next, I have appointment. And in there, I even treat it as medical. So I have some medication as well as doctor and appointment boxes, alarm clocks, and doctor dudes. Next, I have family, which is a big variety. Um, I use this a lot on the weekends. I have family time. I have little game night and controllers, movie night, a lot of marquees from a lot of different shops. I like to use marquees not to just mark when we go to the movies, but to write in the fun places we go, like the zoo. I even have some lazy days because there are those weekends, uh, date nights, uh, play dates. I have some for my dog as well because she is a member of the family. 
fun day, pizza night, and then even some travel related stickers as well goes in the family section. Next I have shopping over here. Oh, get those down. Shopping in this section is mostly for groceries. So any kind of bag or cart or shopping girl for groceries. Happy Mail, pretty self-explanatory. Any little envelope or maybe stickers or box, even ones that say Happy Mail all go in there. Then I have holidays and I use this for birthdays as well. So I have lots of balloons, presents, cakes, ones that say happy birthday. I even have um, all the holidays on a calendar, uh, little banners, also wacky holidays and countdowns. Next is my random section, which is kind of hard to explain because <laughs> it's pretty random. It's got a lot of different things. Um, it's kind of divided. I keep the, a lot of things in cellophane by shop um, and like item. The first half is all my kind of foiled items. I like foil, <laughs> foiled stickers. And so I kind of try to divide it by shop there. Um, and then if it's, you know, I got a lot of similar stickers, I'll keep it in a cellophane. So I have like Planning World and a lot of Simply Watercolor Co. icons as well as Clever Girl Craft and little hearts and flags. And then after I do the foil, I get to characters. And these are usually characters that are in their own books or are on large sheets. Um, and the rest I put in the brag books, the little booklets, which I will show later. But I have Kina Prince, Oana Story, just a variety and some of these are my favorite like um, I have a lot of Fox and Pip these are some of the newer ones because they're on the smaller sheets they're in their own cellophane as well as some of her older formats the larger sheets are in here Pumpkin Paper Co, uh, Sweet Deco Chic so I'm looking for any like character stickers on the large sheets I come over here I even have some customs with my name drawn out like me. Next I go to Rainbow, which that was the best thing I could think of for all of my glitter. Glitter flags and glitter headers are all housed in there. Next I go to Laundry, which is all my laundry icons, so anything that could represent laundry goes in there. Next is Meals, so I meal plan, meal prep, so that's those. And then Lazy and sleep was the best category that I could use for me time. And I actually do have a lot that say, you know, beauty sleep and relax. A lot of relax and a lot of me times. Next I have hair and beauty. And there I have lots of nail polish icons. Um, as well as like get ready and uh, makeup brushes. Next I have date covers, which is literally date covers, lots of numbers, foiled date covers, as well as all the different colors in the rainbow. Then we go to payday, literally speaks for itself, payday icons there. And then I go to planning. In here I have planners, uh, planning desks, uh, plan with me, since I do uh, film every time I set up my planner. Um, I even have some working on the computer because I do plan with me. It's planner girls. Planner girls on the computer. And then even some crafty stickers too because it is my hobby. I love to do it as a craft, as a creative outlet. So washi rolls and pins and cute little deco like that. Next I have checklists which that was the best I could find for my sidebar item. So if I'm using a kit and I'm missing something for my sidebar, I could come here and look for anything I need to add. Next I have treat yourself and that is literally treating myself. <laughs> shopping. So I have shopping and Etsy and Target and shopping bags and even ones that say treat yourself. 
Next we have trash, which is not too exciting. Trash icons, but I have to mark that. Next is kids. I have one. I have one kiddo, but this section's all dedicated to him. So all school-related, bunch of school-related stickers. Um, glasses for him as well. And bikes, little bikes. And then a bunch of, like, sports. So practice and game for, like, soccer and baseball. I have TV and Netflix. So, literally, TVs and Netflix in that section. Weather, I gotta check that sometimes, depending on the season, to know what my son needs to wear for school. And then YouTube, I actually have some subsections. Um, I think of this more as my social media. So I have three sections, and then what I did was, this came in one of my photo boxes that for $2 I got at Michael's, but they're very short. So I took a little bit of washi and made a long little flag so that it could stick up and I could know where my sections start. Um, and they're very curled because they're very old. <laughs> They've been used a lot. But the first section is literally anything YouTube, uh, like little play buttons or say YouTube. And then the next section is Instagram. So lots of like, cameras or Instagram symbols or post, you know, post onto Instagram your spread or whatever, Facebook. And then I also have um, Etsy. Next I have half boxes, which is what I chose just to kind of do functional items. It actually starts with labels of all kinds glitter and solid and scalloped and then we move on to half boxes in this subsection here this tab needs to stick out there we go we go into half boxes cute little ones with bows and glitter too and um, then we get to teardrops and flags different little things there and then the next one is checklists checklists of all kinds of different colors there and last that ends that last we have here our stickers I was using when I had my Etsy shop open which it's currently not but I had my shop name Mrs. Mom Next Door same as my channel name and then little bows that say orders since that's what I did in my shop I will keep those because I may open again. And then in the very back, I actually have leftovers. When I use a kit, let's say I'm done with a whole sheet of decorative boxes, I will save the, the sticker sheet and I'll just kind of peel off the edging and keep it so that I can try to remember if I have any half boxes or labels to kind of keep them all on one sheet. Here's an example. Here's different shades of red. So if I ever am looking for a particular um, shade of red in a half box or a flag, or, I could come to these. So I'm trying to remember to save and keep my leftovers in all the rainbow colors. And I keep that towards the back of my box. And at the very end, I do have one sheet of cancels, which I try not to use too often. But that is my whole box there. It took a little bit longer than I thought to get um, through, but let's go ahead and move on to the next system, which is the binder. Okay, so I have three binders. I don't want to go through all of them, but basically I have a binder for my sticker kits. One is for spring and summer, one is for fall and winter, and one is just for holidays. And my biggest one is my spring and summer because it's my favorite color schemes. So this is, this is it right here. Now these are kits, some of them are from years ago. Um, I have been planning for a while as I mentioned. I have done swaps, I have um, a P.O. box. Uh, so what I like to do is get these little protective sleeves. They are made by Avery or Target has their own brand. And I like to slip my kits in, in the sleeves and I usually will double side it um, if I have enough kits at the time I do. And I would like to flip through before I sit down to plan to pick out what kit will I use 
for the week. And sometimes it depends if there's an event going on, one, one may strike a chord with me a little bit more. Like, for instance, this one is fair theme, so I will probably pull that out when uh, the fair comes to our town. Or this is travel themed. So that is how I use the binders, is I like to keep my sticker kits in them. And I picked up this one from the Target dollar spot for $3, the little mini binder. I also have one of the binders that came from Target from the actual stationery section. They cost, I think, uh, 99 cents more. This is $3.99 for this particular one. This one was, I think, my first purchased one. It actually is really great quality. It's just been through a lot. But um, yeah, so those are my sticker kits. Here is my newest organizational tool for my stickers. These are brag books I have turned into little sticker books and it has lightened up my sticker box and I love it because I could actually see some stickers that I wasn't using because they were, you know, so buried and stuff down in there. So what I'm talking about brag books are, here's, here's three extras. Um, they're by Recollections. I got them at Michael's. They are $1.99. And I basically removed the covers. And I, on some of these shops, like this one in particular, Once More With Love, um, and Coffee Monsters Co., they have free printables for covers on their sites. I could have printed out a cute cover, but I'm not going to actually like using the cover as another slot for a sticker sheet. Plus, then my eyes just recognize the stickers a little bit better. But it's really great to have this to flip through see everything that I have so that I I'm just more I think likely to use them and it helps when you're on a no spend because you could just be like you know I don't know I love flipping through these some of them are mixed I don't quite have enough um, stickers per shop to fill up a book but these little sticker sheets fit really nicely so I love I do love these for just two dollars, I think it's a great little organizational tool. I think I'm going to use my stickers more often now. So yeah, I have, let's see, five books filled up. And then what actually started me on this, wanting to do this, was Glitter and Chai, which is now um, Grumpy Bear Co., I believe. She had this on her site. It was $5 for the brag book. What you got was the brag book and then she just printed out a front and back cover so it just came an empty book. And then you could buy the sheets. And I do have a few from her shop. And I just loved this. I love seeing them. And um, I was like, I, I want more of these. I found out you could get them for $1.99 at Michael's and I have been uh, making mine and then uh, I do have one more which is actually a sampler book a sampler book that I want to collect it's like a collectible sampler book I guess you could say uh, because I have a little bucket of uh, samplers on my desk that I'm trying to get work through but these are the ones that I think are fun and I want to kind of keep from a bunch of different shops uh, so yeah, I love this quote here. Choose people who choose you. Fox and Pip, Little Miss Papery, um, Odd Loop, uh, Bubba Bear Studios, Once More With Love, The Little Taters from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, tons of cute, cute ones. Even an old Fox and Pip, a lot of, uh, Sparkly Paper Co., uh, Clever Gal Craft, uh, Sweet Deco Chic. Planner Monkey Co. Um, cute stuff. Uh, Willow Wallow Co. And I'm just going to add them as I receive them. If they're too cute to use, I won't use them. I just want to collect them. And the reason I haven't taken the cover off is because my grandma actually gave me this book. This didn't come from Michael's. I don't know where she got it. This lady. So anyways. Um, I also have in here my Mambi sticker book where I've added in. Um, I have a DIY video on how to take your books like this and add it into 
rings, which I need to do, obviously, because I've picked up a few more. So I bought extender rings. I'll, I'll have to do that here soon. And uh, last but not least, I do have some deco sheets. This is actually some doubles. I have all these beautiful deco sheets by Willow Fields. I actually showed these on my Insta stories, Instagram stories. These are just gorgeous. They are all like from kits from the past year. There's holidays in there and I'm just hoping that this inspires me to do fun things with uh, stickers here. Although they're also so cute I don't almost want to use them. I want to hoard them. But um, yes, I thought that this was a good place to put them right next to my sticker books because I tend to just grab these little brag books just to flip through. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. It's my new little edition. So anyways, those are the three ways I store all the stickers I have been collecting over the years. I hope that uh, you got a little bit of inspiration on how to organize your stickers and that you at least maybe enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And until I see you next time, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.